Free sneaks and got them jumping out the seat Cause it's Dean and B and D Dean and B and D Dean and B and D things to prove because everybody's against us. You know, nobody thinks we're going to be good. Um, people think I'm just patching. And of course, you can look at the general stage and tell that, listen, it's a new era. It's not packed. It's not a lot of people here. We have no flash and dash. We wear practice jerseys. And um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work in this. And I just think God's called me for this. It's like Nehemiah building the wall of the Bible. You know, brick by brick, stone by stone. And we're not focused on who's been here. And we're not focused in the past. You know, we, as a true believer, I tell the kids all the time, the windshield is huge so you can focus on where you're going. Okay. The rear view mirror is small so you can glance at where you've been. All this stuff that people talk about is behind us. So when they talk about all the things that happen here, yes, we understand that. The things we appreciate the most is what KD did for us. To step in and make sure that we're covered, man. Right. That's big time for KD to just come in here for a guy. He doesn't really know. I didn't, he didn't play for me. But he says, listen, I'm going to get back to the place that helped me. And that's important for me, man. And that's the respect I have so much for him looking out for this team. Right, right. I, I just think that it's just a new year, new beginning. And I think the important thing is, is how we come into the season. And I just think right now that, you know, I, I love the personnel we have. I think we've got great chemistry. I think the kids work extremely hard. They know their talent comes from God. And I think it's my job to take it from here to the, to the next level. Yeah. Uh, I think it's extremely hard when people say the next level because of how much – Stu Vedder has accomplished. So it all to, it, it's the perspective of what people look at when they say next level. And I think there's some things that we can implement now that's been a little different from before in the past. And we can make this place a special place. Okay. You know, so that's what, you know, that's basically what I'm, uh, I think I'm called to the position. And I think that, uh, you know, this is, this is just a, a calling from God to be able to do something when, when people don't really think that you can. Right. You know, and I, and I think it says a lot where we are right now. Mm -hmm. And we're at the bottom. So. From there is where we be. you know and improve myself to get ready for the next level um, I knew coach Brian Bartley and uh, I met him at Nike Global Talents he eventually got the job you know when he called me he talked about going coming to Montrose I know all about Montrose and the tradition of having great players and things like that and uh, it was something I was ready to do to step in you know and make an impact right away to be honest uh, definitely wanted to come out here and uh, definitely because the basketball head is great I heard mm -hmm. and there's a lot of tradition behind it and where I was basketball wasn't like that big so I want to play on that national stage against Good teams out in the DFB. Right. I mean, I heard, I heard it was a pretty good school, you know, and I heard they, you know, had to build a new program, so I thought I'd come in and be a good hope. Right. Uh, this year, I mean, I just want to come on and play hard every game, get them all, and hopefully I can be an All American. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of uh, interesting because, you know, we have a new squad and coming as a senior, you know, trying to have leadership on the team and get everybody going to get the national championship. It's kind of good, you know, to live up to Kevin and Rain to push ourselves, you know, to be alumni here. Right. <laughs> The, the talent you got on this team, um, you've got some guys, some nationally ranked guys, some guys people have heard of. Who, who are some guys that people should be on the lookout for this upcoming season? Well, for me, everyone. You know, I think this team is composed of everybody. This team is good. Um, do we have the top 20 and top five kids in the country? No. The one kid that everybody talks about is Alonzo Trier. He deserves it because he puts the work in. Um, but I think there's kids on this team that's going to surprise a lot of people. 
I think this team is composed of everybody in our starting five position, including six, seven, or great kids that can play. You know, there's a quote that says, when talent doesn't work hard, hard work will overcome talent. I just think this is a group where, you know, when you look back, you're going to notice that this group is a, it's a solid group of kids who are going to do a lot of work. You know, it's no different when you think about the old Dunbar days. And you think about the top guys, Reggie, you know, but Reggie Lewis, who ended up playing with the Boston Sox, I mean, Boston Sox that passed away, at that time wasn't the top guy, you know? And that's the thing people don't realize, man. I always tell people, man, you know, everything that glitter ain't gold in life. Gotcha. Okay. Appreciate that, Coach. Thank man, you for the time. I appreciate you coming down and just taking some time with us, man, honestly. No problem. It means a lot to us. No problem. You know?